What is going on gaming nerds? Mystic Nightmare here and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make excellent experience and excellent excellent silver on Russian Fishing 4's Belaya River fishing for brown trout and everything in between. Let's get this party started. So to start this off with, I know why you guys are here, all right? I know a whole bunch of you came to Belaya River and was like, oh man, I'm super excited. This is a brand new river. We're going to see what we can catch here. You threw out a bunch of spinners, you threw out a bunch of spoons, you threw out a bunch of bait, and you caught absolutely nothing. And you left here saying, you know what? Screw this place. I'm never, ever going to come back here again. Well, guess what? This is actually one of the best places for some of the best experience and some great silver when it comes down to any river that is under it. Uh, under Bel Belaya River. And I'm going to have a hard time saying the name, but we're going to say it anyway, Belaya River. Uh, Oldberg, Winding Rivulet, Mosquito. In my opinion, this has the absolute best experience and you can make great silver. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how. And we're going to do it by fishing for browns, graylings, and any fish that's in between. But we're going to be targeting browns because browns have the best experience, in my opinion, up up until this point in the game so to start off with i've got a couple of prices for you when it comes down to these setups and i've got three different setups i've got a recommended setup i've got a basic bottom of the line cheapest setup you can do and then i've got a veteran setup for anybody who's you know a little bit higher level who wants to come back and try this out uh, basically for veterans you're looking at anywhere from 805 um, silver to 1000 and that's, you know, obviously for higher levels, that's probably a little bit of pocket change. Uh, for the very basic bottom of the line setup, you're looking at 90 to 140 silver, depending on how many spinners and lures that are spinners, how many spinners you actually purchase. And for my recommended setup, you're looking at anywhere between 360 to 390 uh, for a setup that I that I recommend for beginners who have just started coming to Belay and they want to have a really good experience. So to start off with, I'm going to start off with the veterans. Basically, veterans, it's simple and easy. Here's what we what you got to do: go into all, or you can go into your kits. And you're going to be looking for the uh, Spinner Light Pro. The Spinner Light Pro comes with the Siberia Liner 60 S60L, and it comes with the Sputnik Element Pro. Now these have actually surprised me quite a bit. I have fished a lot with them. I've done a lot of Belaya fishing with it. I've fished other, you know, Winding Rivulet, Mos uh, uh, Mosquito Lake. I've even done a little bit of Sura um, with it in the shallow areas as well as um you know uh, seversky donuts so you can use it in other in other lakes and and with all of my fishing i've never actually repaired i've never actually repaired my my uh my reel and it's only down to four percent it's a lot stronger than i thought it was going to be it fights the fish a lot stronger than i thought it would and it ends up being an excellent setup so if you're a veteran this is what you're going to start out with and you just you know you know you want to start low and cheap this is what you probably want to start out with which is the linear 60 l and the sputnik element pro um, which comes in the kit as for the rest of you if you're looking for a bottom of the line dirt cheap <laughs> setup here's what we're going to do to start off with the first rod that you can you can get is one of two rods when you go to the starting area the cottage pond and you click on the house and you click to receive extra spinning gear, you get the old spinning rod. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the old spinning rod is very useful here. It is one of the best rods you can you can use here, along with the Corona 60, uh, 60L. These two rods are actually very, very good for using on Belay River, okay? Now, it seems like they've got a very low, low capacity, but that's okay because you actually still do really well on this river using these two. Now, if you're a little bit cautious and you're like, oh, I'm not sure exactly what to do, if I should use the old spinning rod or the Corona, I would suggest starting with the old rod because you can go back and get another free one every hour if you end up accidentally breaking the old rod. Okay, um, you get one of the Corona 60 SLs when you first log in and you start doing the tutorials. So 
I highly suggest once you kind of get the fill for the way the fish fight out here, then go ahead and switch over to your Corona because it gives you 0.5 kilograms more load capacity. So that's going to be our starting rod where we're going to go for the very basic bottom of the line cheap setup. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do an express fishing, fishing spark. Now you should get this, this, uh, you should get this this reel as soon as you you log in for the first time and you should have have one immediately when you start the tutorial if you do not or you've busted yours they're very dirt cheap they're only nine silver uh and you want to make sure you get the 2000 not the 3000 they've actually this is belaya rivers it's actually eight silver everywhere else so don't buy your stuff here buy it at, at mosquito or winding rivulet it's it's more expensive here i'm just doing this for the atmosphere of belaya river so your spark is going to be the next element that's going to be on on your um on your setup now basically when it comes down to being successful out here with browns you're looking at thin lines with a with a decent amount of weight but the most important is you're looking for invisible leaders Okay, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to talk about just before we do the lines and leaders, I'm going to talk about the recommended setup that I have for out here. Okay, and your recommended setup is not this fishing spark. You can start out with this and it's fantastic, but the better way to go is the reels. Now, before I say this, one of the first things I want to talk about is this, this vintage yacht cut that you get when you first click on the house in the cottage pond and you get your free uh, reel stuff. This used to be one of the best reels for doing Belaya River. Why? Because it is a size 2000, which means it's a light reel that you can use on the Corona rod or the old, or the old rod. And it had a max drag of 4.5, which is fantastic. And the great thing was, was it only costed 72 silver to repair this so if you were lucky enough to repair this fully before this recent update that came out about a week or two ago congratulations this is what i suggest that you start with okay however if you did not repair it and you were not lucky enough to repair it the devs decided to screw everybody on it and it now cost 400 silver to repair it's absolutely ridiculous now you can still use this if you want however when you get it for free everything is down 50 percent on the wear and it's a very loud reel it clicks when you reel it so if you can stand that you can still use that if you want if you want to take out your bumps your bruises your brakes you can get the another one for free and you can you know break them as many as you want you can keep getting them for free but I don't suggest this anymore because of how much it costs to repair it. If you do decide to use it, I, I suggest you repair the brake first and then use it for a while until it drives you insane. And then, you know, you can, if you make enough money, you can repair it. But I don't suggest using it anymore. What I do suggest using is the Sputnik element. Now you can use any one of these right here these are all size 2000 you can get 2000 but they all have three kilograms and the diff uh three uh yeah kilograms worth of max drag so when it comes down to these three the only difference is the more expensive the little bit better of a reel it is when it comes down to durability how it handles um its durability uh how often you have to repair and whatnot and maybe possibly the mech weight uh that's on it so it's up to you if you want to use the, one of these two um, but I would probably start with the Express Spark, Spark, and then if you have the money, I would highly suggest getting the Element 2000, the Sputnik Element 2000. It is 273, okay, um, but it's a great reel. It's four kilograms, so it kind of replaces the the Yatka, the free vintage Yatka. And around the four kilogram max drag. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Well, wait a minute, Mystic load capacity is 2.5 that means your rod is going to be your weakest link in this whole setup which means if you screw up your rod's going to break first the old rod is free you can go back and get a free one anytime you want when it comes down to the uh rods 
for where's no i'm under reels uh where's my spin spinning rod and your corona your corona only costs 20 silver to replace so the great thing about this is both of these rods have 50 percent to experience which is a big bonus on top of how massive the experience you get with a brown uh, brown trout catch is going to be so we've already got our rod we've got our reel next is our line now our line is going to be very important we need very thin very strong line on top of that we need a lot of it and the nice thing about braided line is it's very thin you can get a ton of it on even the smallest of reels and it's very strong however the secret to balaya river and catching browns here is thin lines and invisible lines so your braided line is not an invisible line so we have to have an invisible invisible leader so with our lines what i'm highly suggesting is you go to uh to braided lines and you click on one of the 350 meters you're gonna need 350 meters because if you can't hook into a big fish and he takes off like a bat out of hell you're gonna need a lot of line to give him so he can tire himself out and that's the main key when it comes down to balaya river so green or black either they disappear in the water in these dark waters i suggest using the black and you're going to use one of two you can use either the five kilogram or the 3.5 kilogram it doesn't matter which one you use if you use the five kilogram as it wears out it'll slowly get down to three kilograms and you can still utilize it um, if you start off with the 3.5 kilogram you're still going to be absolutely fine but you want to make sure that you're at 350 meters at 3.5 or 350 meters at five kilograms and you're looking at 53 i'm sorry it's actually 48.90 in silver if you buy it at mosquito or winding rivulet so that's going to be our line so i'm going to go ahead and set up our line i'm also going to show you guys where to fish and how to fish uh there i've got a five kilogram that's kind of beat up a little bit but it's still above three kilograms i believe but i'm going to use this 3.5 kilogram and as you can see on the express fishing spark 348 meters that is a ton of line to give these fish so you can really fight these fish a lot and you can get them in and it's fantastic so next when it comes down to our leaders we're looking for two things brown trout are very line sensitive and very skittish so we need to ensure that we have an invisible leader and we need to ensure that it's strong because you can catch pike up here and that pike can snap that line and bite it in half like it's nothing so we have to make sure that it's thick enough where the pike can't bite through it but we also have to make sure that it's invisible so the browns can can you know will take it so you've got basically three sizes and the third size is actually something that you would have to have somebody else make for you actually you wouldn't it would be in the second one here so anyway what we're doing is we're under the leaders we're under rig components and leaders and you want to look at classic leaders because classic leaders is your spinning you're going to look at one of these two because they're floral carbon floral carbon is ridiculously invisible in water and it's fantastic for browns so at minimum you're looking at 3.2 kilograms I use this size and I'm completely fine with it. I've never ever had a pike bite through it. You're gonna be completely fine if you wanna use the 3.2. If you wanna use the 5.4, you're completely fine with that. At the biggest, the thickest line would be 6.4. I suggest not going above 6.4 because then you're getting a little bit too thick. However, if you wanna be completely safe and sure that your pikes aren't gonna be biting through your leaders, then you wanna make sure that you go for the 6.4. But I have fished with the 3.2 kilogram from the start. I've tried the 6.4, they both catch the same amount. They're both absolutely fine. I've never had a pike bite me, bite, I've <laughs> never had a pike bite me. <laughs> I've never had a pike bite my leader or my lure off with the 3.2 kilogram. So when it comes down to these, you're looking at about seven silver, okay? And I'm positive it's seven silver because i did the research on the costs of all of this uh okay so the next thing you're looking at is lures now on here there is a king there is a queen lure there's spinners there's a prince and a princess and yes i named my lures because well i'm just weird like that so lures depending on how many lures you decide to purchase from this depends on how much silver you're going to make 
the amounts that I've given you, 800 to 1,000 silver for veterans, 90 to 140 for the cheapest, and 30, 360 to 390 silver for the recommended, includes one spinner only. Okay, maybe two spinners. So you're looking at four different spinners that I highly recommend for this place, for Belaya River. To start off with, the king of Belaya River is the Zeman Spiker. You're gonna go in here, and I've had people swear up and down on a whole bunch of these different, different colors and stuff. It's up to you. These all work. They actually do. The one that I highly recommend is at the very bottom, which is the Spiker 2 018. It is my number one go-to spinner here. I come here, I throw that out first, no matter what. You're looking at about 54, actually uh, down at Winding Rivulet, you're looking at 4980 for the silver on that. I highly recommend this one. I've also had people tell me that they've done fantastic on the 007 which is this blue one, which is absolutely beautiful. I would probably try this one with the red in here. Very pretty, I like this one. And I do know that this would actually work during the day and during the night because blue kind of works for both. Um, I've also had people swear up and down uh, that the 016, this one right here is great for nighttime. Okay, so there's your second lure. Uh, I would suggest going with this one first and then purchasing another one that I'm gonna offer in a second. Um, but I've also had people say that the 007 is fantastic and people say the 004 is fantastic. So pick one of them. I highly suggest the 02018 um, and that's gonna be about 4890 when it comes down to your cost. The second one that I highly recommend, and we're gonna jump into the Kiruna Aquilas. Now these are cheaper, but they work just as well. I'm gonna highly suggest the Aquila 4 004. This thing is awesome. It works all through the day, and a lot of times it'll work all through the night as well. With this one, you're looking at 2590, I do believe, on silver. It's a little bit more expensive here at Mosquito Lake, you're looking at 2590. So this is the second lure. If you're gonna get one of the two lures, I suggest one of these two lures. If you have the money, get the Spiker first. If you don't have the money, get the Aquila. The next one I'm gonna recommend is for nighttime. And that is the 006, 4G006. This thing will catch during the day and it will catch during the night. During the day, it's a little bit less. During the night, it's a little bit more. Uh, this one does good all through the day and can ki catch fish at night. The thing is, you got to understand that your bite rate is going to be slight, slightly lower at night. But you can still catch fish on this. But I highly suggest if you want to switch over to a nighttime lure, the Aquila 4G006 is the one that you want to go with. So there's your third lure, and your fourth lure is going to be the Spiker. And you don't have to have all of these. You can just come in, buy the Spiker, and go all day, all night. Or you can go in and buy the Aquila 4004 and go all day and all night. If you want a nighttime in the Spiker, I suggest the Spiker 2016. This is a great nighttime. It's black uh, with a little bit of shiny stuff on it. This is the one um, that I use for nighttime along with the Aquila uh, 006 right here. So that's what you're going to be looking for. So once we've got that going, we're going to do the classic leader. I have made my own leader. If you can get somebody to make your own leader and give you one, then that's fantastic because mine is a six kilogram, 60 centimeter length uh, floral carbon leader. It's fantastic. It works great. It's what I really like to use, but I'm going to just to prove you guys, to prove to you guys, you can catch fish. I'm going to switch it over to a 3.2 kilogram liter. We're going to go ahead and throw on our Spiker 02, and I'm going to show you guys where you can fish. So to start off with, one of the first and the best places that I can I can recommend, and there's two that are really good that I'll show you. But the first one is is this rock out here. Now, a lot of people have all these different opinions on them when it comes down to this rock. Some say you need to stand here in front of it or to the right of it. Other people say you need to stand to the left of it. Other people say you need to stand directly in front of it. Me personally, I stand directly in front of it. I do a full cast and try to hit the rock. 
Once I'm there, I sit for a second and I lock the reel. Make sure you put your... Look at that. Look at that. Right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen. Right off the bat. Just hitting the water. I've already caught a fish. So you're looking for your retrieval speed between 10 and 16 if you're doing a straight retrieval. You can also do a... You can also do a... Uh, Okay, so it looks like we've got a grayling. Uh, you can also do a, uh, what I call a ghost jig step, where basically you reel once and then you let it sit. Now, when you let it sit here, I found that the secret to doing this is let it sit a little bit longer than you normally would. Now, you're not going to get the jig step um, pop-up that comes up because it's called because I've nicknamed it a ghost jig step. You don't actually get it because your 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 uh, lure doesn't actually hit the ground. But I found that the fish really like it when they when the the spinner drops and that's when they hit it. So I actually let it sit a little bit longer. The second one you can do is a speed up. Look at that. We just got another fish. The second one you can do, oh there's a big one. And see this? I'm on the spark. I'm on the basic rod and I'm catching fish here and they're probably grayling. Now this is a grayling spot with browns. So if you're looking for grayling because you're trying to do like a cafe order or something, your graylings and your browns are here. Uh, so yeah, the second uh, uh, technique, uh, reeling technique you can do is a speed up. So with the speed up, you just one, two, three, four reels, press shift. You should see the speed up come up, wait till it goes down. When it goes down, let go of shift. One, two, three. You can do three or four. And look at that. Every single cast that we've done so far, we've caught a fish on. So if you're looking for grayling and browns, this is where you want to do it. You'll also get chubs. Look at that. There's a brown trout. There's your proof right there. You'll also get chubs here and you'll get asp. Be careful with the asp because they take off like a bat out of hell. The second place that you can do is this one's kind of a crazy place. I don't know if there's like an under hidden underwater rock or something over here, but you see this rock right here that's behind the cafe tent. This is your cafe tent right here. There's a pike, look at that. There's a brown trout order right there over three kilograms. There's pike. Um, there's even burbot out here, but don't go for them because they suck. So you stand right by this rock and you're just gonna go straight out. So I'm just casting straight out here. And for some reason, out here is a hidden spot that's really, really good for browns, graylings, and pretty... Look at that. Look at that. Right off the bat, we got another fish on here. This thing's actually got a pretty decent sight. It's probably a grayling, but as you can see, I've shown you the setup. I've proven it. We've casted, what, four times and we've got four fish? Or six times? Six times? How many times? I don't know. There's another grayling right there. So there's a spot right there. It's a really good spot. Um, I usually don't fish it because it's kind of a, a weird spot. I don't exactly know where to cast every time, but it's a pretty good spot. Your third spot is gonna be with this rock over here. You're gonna try to, just like the other rock that I just showed you, the large rock, you're gonna try to either hit it in the middle, you're gonna try to hit it on the right side or the left side. Now be careful with this rock because if you actually tag the rock, you're not going to actually get a it, there's there's a, a glitch in the game and when you tag the rock you don't actually get speed up techniques or your jigging techniques or anything else like that none of your techniques show up because you hit the rock with your lure it's okay you can still do the techniques and it's absolutely fine it still works but it's just kind of a little wonky because you're not sure if you're actually doing like a speed up technique right or something like that so the third and final area, and this place is a little bit different. Uh, first of all, when you get down here is all the way to the south. What you're going to do is you're going to aim directly at this down log right here. Now you can go a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. But what you have to do down here is kind of funny. When you get down here, you're going to catch pike and perch like crazy for the first few casts. And I feel like to me... I kind of see it as I'm clearing out the perk and the, the perch and the pike. I kind of clear them out. So you're going to catch maybe five or six perch, three or four uh, pike, whatever. And then you're going to start getting chubs and then you're going to start getting asps and then you're going to start getting browns. And when the browns hit, 
they start going one after another after another. You get like four browns in a row, or you'll get a brown and a chub and like three browns. So it's pretty crazy. And when it comes down to the experience that the browns have, they're just absolutely fantastically amazing when it comes to experience. When I came here, I was like 16, I believe, and I leveled all the way to 19 in two real life days. So it was absolutely fantastic. I, 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 I love the experience. I love coming back here just to have fun and enjoy myself. Um, so yeah, that's basically the entire setup you're looking at. Uh, it works great. Your experience is great. If you want to boost your experience even more, you can actually go in and you can drink alcohol. You can drink like mold wine and you can get an experience boost from being tipsy so you can make more experience. Um, and the browns actually sell for quite a bit of money as well. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to actually get too many browns before you really start making a lot of money. Uh, a full keep net will probably get you around 300 silver. So it really, really is great. Now I'm going to tell you guys a secret. If you're with the video still, I'm going to tell you guys a secret. And I'm the only one who knows that, so don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody else, okay? When it rains in, Bel in Belaya, come to this spot right here. Because for some reason the browns go absolutely nuts when it rains. I'm not talking about when it thunderstorms, just when it rains regular. They go ballistic and you'll catch like a ton of browns when it starts to rain here. Don't tell anybody else that secret, it's just yours and mine, okay? If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully you guys had an enjoyable time on the video. I know that I did. Hopefully it helps you out. Keep gaming. Keep doing it at midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.